Hey guys, thanks again for tuning in to the review channel. And I am here to review the Dyson V7 Animal Plus cordless vacuum cleaner. A very cool looking vacuum cleaner. I know there's different versions. There was the original um, Dyson V6. Um, I knew that didn't have much runtime. I wasn't interested in that. Uh, so this finally came out, um, the V7, and now there's a V8 Animal. So the V8's a little bit more expensive, almost $600. Um, I settled on the V7 Animal. It's priced around $449, roughly $399 to $449, depending where you shop. Um, so I'm going to review this vacuum for you and give you my opinion and go over it with you. I've had some other Dyson products in the past. Um, I've had some big upright vacuums. I've had the Animal Vacuum. I've had a few of the Dysons in, in, the, in the past. Uh, but this here, is, it was looking for something that was, you know, cord free because I was tired of pulling the cord around. It was so annoying. So it's got 30 minutes of run time. It has a HEPA filter, of course, like all uh, most of the Dysons do. Uh, it's very, uh, very important to have the HEPA filter. Um, it's actually pretty quiet. So I already opened up the box, checked it out, and show you what I got. So this is the whole set here. This is the whole kit, as you can see. Um, so we have the actual, the main motor here. So this is the main, the main drive, uh, the power, power plant, if you want to call it. Uh, we'll go over that in a minute. Here is the brush head, so it comes with the brush head, okay? Uh, that's a part right there. Also comes with the extended wand, so you can vacuum upright. A couple different tools. Okay, here's a tool here, which is kind of cool. I like this tool. So this um, actually, um, I can show you how it goes down here. So it actually goes down here, so you can use it as a crevice tool, okay? So you can get into the tight spots with that. Or if you want to extend the brush, you can, which you can do with lampshades. It's soft enough. It's actually right in the middle. It's not super soft, but it's not, it won't uh, hurt the fabric. And we can go over that too as well when we start um, vacuuming. I can show you that. Also comes with a, a smaller attachment for stairs, which is really cool. I tell you, I went around my whole house and did it in like, 20 minutes, I had the whole house. It was huge, huge saving in time. In time. Amazing. Um, so this is good for upholstery. This is good for stairs, um, your car. Um, the car is really cool. That's what that really is cool for. You've got your course, you've got your crevice tool, which everyone knows about the crevice tool. Crevice tool is awesome. You've got to have the crevice cool tool. There's another type of extension uh, type of crevice tool here. It's got a little brush on it, okay? So that's kind of cool, and that comes off as well. And then this is the caddy. And this caddy holds um, everything in it, um, everything in the Dyson. So what you do is you, it's, so you, when you first receive your Dyson, okay, it comes with roughly 20% charge on the vacuum itself, okay? So we're gonna go over a few things with the vacuum. So that's the actual power plant, let's call it itself, okay? The vacuum. So let's go over this. Okay, so let's let's go over this. So this is the main vacuum here. This is the main, actually, the, the power plant itself, okay? So let's go over a few different things that it has here. Um, so the, the design improvements are quite a bit from the V6. On the V7, it's, you get uh, 30 minutes of vacuum time versus the V6. You only roughly get 10 if you were lucky. Uh, so the battery power is a lot lot better on this on this vacuum. Uh, when, you when you first receive the vacuum, you must plug it in. Um, charge it three to four hours. Uh, the light will go on, then you'll see, let me just show you so I can give you an idea. So just, you plug it in here, okay? So you can see a steady blue. So when that blue light goes out, it is fully charged. Pretty simple. Um, so <clears throat> you get it in, plug it in, about two, three hours, it'll shut off, and then you're ready to go, okay? So that's how that works, pretty simple. So this battery here, the only thing I don't like about the battery is that you can't change them out. So you couldn't change a pack, put another battery, and keep vacuuming. That you cannot do with this. But it lasts roughly almost 30 minutes. I timed it 28 minutes roughly uh, with the power head. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, little, actually very good battery design. They really improved the battery quite a bit. <clears throat> you got two settings here. So we have the high suction um, extended run and then the maximum suction. So let's hear what it sounds like. So this is the standard, standard uh, suction. Pretty quiet actually, I have to tell you. And then you have the maximum suction. So that really kicks it up quite a bit. That's where you get your maximum suction from, okay? Back to the normal, the maximum. I like the trigger mechanism on this, okay? So when you're vacuuming, you're vacuuming, you shut it off, you move to a different location, you vacuum, you shut it off, and that's where you save a lot of time and battery. You'd be surprised how much time you, how much time you waste by plugging in and unplugging in and fixing cords and running around the cords. So this makes time much, believe it or not, you can get your whole house done before you know it. 
Um, so it's really quick and very, very accurate and very powerful. So what you have here is your filter, okay, the HEPA filter, which you really never have to clean once, maybe a year or so. Wash it under some water. That's awesome. Also, this is a filter here, which is, I would consider this um, wash under water as well. HEPA filter. And you can hear the, so the air comes out of here. This is there's almost like a little muffler. And it really does a great job just taking all that air and just keep, keeping it clean with the HEPA filter. That's really great technology. So, so battery is 30 minutes. You get the power, you got maximum suction, you got your filter here to clean with the water, and you got your filter here to clean with water, okay? This every year, this probably every three to four months, depending on how dirty and how much you're picking up and so forth. Very easy to manage, okay? So how do you empty the vacuum, all right? Just, it looks like a small cylinder, but be, you'll be surprised. It holds quite a bit. Very easy to empty this vacuum. So, this little lever here, okay, you pick it up, watch what happens, okay? So the new design, which is actually, actually I dropped some dust in, I'll pick it up and I'll show you, is that what it does is it cleans the filth, the screen here, okay, drops the, all this, the crap out, and opens at the same time. So there's a full clean from the old one, you didn't have to do it, you have to go in there and clean it all out and get your pencil in and all that, and that crap was a, was a mess. Easy, easy, easy. Close it up, okay, bring it down, close it and lock it. That's easy, that's all there is to it. Whoop. It also comes out too so you can clean it. But, so you just open it, clean it, close it, and then you shut it down. Very, very easy. Great design. Uh, the dust come off too as well, so if you want to get into the deep cleaning with the actual um, with the actual filter itself, which is looks like a stainless steel filter to me, and uh, it's very, very cool. So yeah, I'm very impressed with this vacuum. So let's do some vacuuming, um, and we'll see how it runs. Okay guys, so I ended up putting on the power head um, with the attachment here as you can see. And this is the stuff I dropped on the rug when I opened up the e-filter. As you can see, it's all dust. And let's crank it up and see how it does. Let's give a live demonstration exactly how this works. This is not any other TV show. This is not fake. This is actually live and it's going to happen as it happens. So let's see what happens. That is awesome. I have to tell you, I have a lot of, I'm, I'm the vacuum guy. As, as most guys know, we do the vacuuming. Um, we're in charge of the vacuuming. And, and you know, when I said to my wife, I want a $500 vacuum, she goes, whatever you want, dear, as long as you do the vacuuming. And this is what I want. So that's how it works in my household. Um, so let's go down and just do a vacuuming on the house and just take a look and just take a look at what I'm doing. See if you get an idea what I'm talking about. Are you vacuum the living room? Okay. It is so light, only six pounds. It weighs hardly anything at all, I have to tell you. Compared to those big upright beasts, they're monsters. So say you did your whole house, so now you want to go around, you want to do a small rug in the kitchen. So I have a small rug in my kitchen, okay? Sorry for the bad lighting. So the rug's a little dirty, as you can see. Down, bam. Okay? I have to undo any cords, you have to pick up anything, you have to move anything, bam. That rug is done, okay? That's how fast this vacuum is, okay? Let's go over here. I have another rug over here. I have to unplug, plug it in, do this, do that, a hundred different things, okay? Very easy. Put the light on so you guys can see. Another rug, bam. Okay? So the time, the time alone that you're saving by unplugging and plugging in vacuums are just huge. Just huge, okay? Another one here, another small rug I have over here with my shoes on it, all right? I'm just excited about this vacuum, I have to tell you. I just I have to get rid of these shoes. Move these shoes out of the way, okay? Let's go. Okay, dirty rug, got it? You can see it, right? There we go. Clean rug. I mean, that's how quick this vacuum is, all right? Bare floors, no problem. Bare floors, go around. Here you got dust bunnies to pick them right up. Okay. Whatever you have to do. Sorry about if I'm moving too fast. I know. I'm sorry about that. I just get excited about this vacuum. So you can see the mobility and the ease of this awesome Dyson vacuum. I have to say, it's going to be the best vacuum I've ever used. I mean, I know some up, other uprights are less expensive. Uh, other um, cordless ones might be less expensive. But the technology alone is fantastic in this vacuum. Let's take a look at the bottom of the dirt well. So you can see what I'm talking about. There it is. You can see it. It picks it. It just it picks it right up. I mean, and that's not just from this rug. That's from the other rugs. 
It's just amazing. So let's go over this again real quickly so you can see what I'm talking about. So I hope you get the gist of this, of this review. I don't want to make it too long. Um, I just want to get to the point that the vacuum works awesome. That's the bottom line to me. Okay, so you, you saw me go from a rug to the rug in the kitchen to the rug in the, in the hallway. Um, let's go to put another attachment on and I'll show you the stairs attachment. Okay guys, so here's my stairs going up to my um, loft area. And here's the stairs. So here's the small power head brush I was telling you about. Okay. Just like that. Go up the stairs, down the stairs, you're done. It is so easy with a small power head. You can do anything with this. This thing is fantastic. Okay guys, um, so we're gonna change attachments. I'm gonna show you how easy this is, okay? It just basically, they snap in and they snap out, okay? This is pretty pretty rudimentary. I mean, it just it's basic technology. It's very simple, okay? You can see here, so they have a little connection here, a little, um, little power prong, okay? So that prong, I'm trying to see there, okay? You can see the prong. That prong connects into this prong, and that connects into this. You can see straight. Okay, so that powers the head. So as that connects to the top of, the, of this tube, there's a connection here which connects to the vacuum, which gives it, which powers the drive head. So that's the technology. So everything runs off that one battery, okay? So you can use this here just like this. So if you have a big area that you want to vacuum, big rug, so there you go. Now you can do the, okay, look at this. So this powers the head, okay? So this is for, for if you have large rugs or if you have a quick pickup, you can just, Get a quick pickup, there you go. Pick it right up, easy, easy. So let's put on a small attachment. So let's talk about the uh, small, this is the car attachment, this is for the home, this is for your sofa, you wanna pick up some to clean the bed, clean uh, the pillows. Okay, again, power head. Very easy, okay? Let's vacuum some stairs, let's take a look at that. Okay guys, so we're back at the um, place where we started from in the beginning. So let's go over one more time. So you have the small power head here for your car, upholstery, um, pillows, bed, whatever you want to do. Come to the power head, powered by the machine. Go ahead, okay, back in the rugs, the floors, hardwood floors. It goes on in all surfaces, won't hurt, won't scratch. Second power, extension wand that you can add on so you can make it as long if you need to do some longer places, okay? So you just put it on like that. This here, you can. So there you go, check that out. Now that is pretty cool, right? Hard to see everything in this one shot. So you can see, so you can really get up there high. The dust, you can pick up, um, I mean, anything you want. Just crank it on, you can just, it's just amazing. Okay, so I'll take that off like that. We'll take this off like that. We talked about this tool here, which is kind of a cool thing. It's like a crevice slash dusting. Extension wand. I mean, this thing, you can go for miles with this thing. It's just huge. So you can connect it to the wand up there and you can almost do the ceilings. It's just crazy. And everything with Dyson is pretty snap, uh, pretty easy. It's all, you know, you can actually put it right to the vacuum and dust the old camera. There you go. Okay. Like that. You got that. You get the crevice tool mounting kit. You get the mounting bracket. So what you do is you put your cord, electric cord through here. You mount your electric cord in here, okay? Actually, let me just show you so, you, so you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. That way you'll know. I always say a pitch is worth a thousand words. So, you get your vacuum home. What you wanna do is you wanna just run this little cord here. Do this little thing here like this, a little connection. And this will sit right inside this little, you can see that. See that? So that's the power, it sits inside here. Okay, so you can see it like that. So that sits inside this little uh, connection for the latch for the vacuum. Vacuuming for the day. Put your vacuum in the holder. Sits in the thing. It's charging. And just like that, okay? So you can hang it, you can mount it on the wall this way. So when you're ready to use it, you pop it off. Pop it off, out, and you're good to go. When you're done, you put it back in, and it's charging. So that's the idea behind that, okay? Take that out. Accessories, you can, you can snap your accessories in here, so it'll hang on the wall, a couple accessories. That, my thoughts on this little vacuum, okay? I give it a nine out of 10. I would give it a 10 out of 10 if it ran a little bit longer, um, and also if the battery was changeable. If you could change the battery, if you had a huge house and you wanna go all around the whole house, battery could die on you within 30 minutes, and then you'd be bumming out. And you gotta wait three hours or four hours. That's the drawback. 
But if your house is under 2,000 square feet, if you have a lot of carpeting, it'll still be okay. If you have a lot of hardwood floor, it's still okay. Clean your car. I put on max suction. Go mad. Clean your whole car out. Easy breezy. Very, very easy. Empty it out, open it up, the thing falls out. Very, very simple. You can't get any simpler than this. Um, any questions or any comments, please leave it on, on below. I'd appreciate it. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm working on some new ideas all the time. If you have some ideas or some products that you want me to review, let me know. I'll be glad to do it. I'll look at them, and I'll give you my professional opinion, and I'll show you how they work and give you uh, any thoughts, uh, any tricks as far as um, going forward with any kind of products that you find. Um, again, this is the Dyson, um, the V7. There's also a new one out at the V8. V8's a little bit more money. You don't see the benefit. You get, I think you get 40 minutes of vacuum time. Eh, another 10 minutes or so. I don't think it's going to make that much of a difference. Certainly not worth $100 for 10 minutes. I think this is more than enough because you have this variable trigger that you're turning it on and off when you need it. So it's not always on like a regular traditional vacuum and you move much faster. And because of that, you utilize the time better. Um, so all in all, it's a great vacuum. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you're interested in the vacuum, I'll put a link down below. You can purchase it if you want to. Take a look at it. Look at some reviews. Tell me what you think. And if you buy one, tell me what you think. And then we'll go from there. I appreciate it. Thanks again for watching the review channel. Have a great day.